It's salvage time, boys. Get your dirty little hands off my salvage. And also, I guess the dead are gone, but... Potentially I should have looted their bodies before ending the cutscene, but I was getting really just... Oh my gosh, he's practically naked because I... Because I acidified him? I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it. What? We're just gonna pick it up! Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? Agreed. I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. They're, they're probably all dead. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one over there, near the Utara border. But why? It's uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? This is just happening very quickly. Oh boy, here we here we go. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that's knocked the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and very precise. tactical. Until you got her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakhs weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad. About Nazar and Vladis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out. Yeah, that, that was that was sad. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least. Like I can it's do. one thing to go down fighting, but like you're not. If that's not what you do, like what else? you're gonna try to run, you're gonna try to live, and like that was just a really sad way to die. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. Oh, oh boy. You mentioned the Utara tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch. At least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. 
It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the neighbors with the Tanakh. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't they don't know. trust you. <laughs> I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but no. They just want to be left alone. I think we met an Utaru in the previous game. There's only one that I know of, or that I'm pretty sure was Utaru during the funeral like arrangement stuff that you like the the memorial remembrance stuff that you do. Um, and one of the people was an Utaru, and I was under the impression they were a swamp people. Like they lived in the swamps, but apparently not. And also, like, how could they survive between the Karja and the Tanakh? Like, that seems like a very precarious place to be. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of He's like, I already said no this. Man's land, and then new Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the dot. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert? <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? <laughs> we just awkwardly stare at each other. This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call No Man's Land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten. Oh. War. Oh, oh. I'm curious. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like, who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osram Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osram crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. If they're scholars, they're probably foolhardy, but I understand. <laughs> I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. Oh, I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking the for. The music in this game is pretty nice. Like it was in the night last game too, but I like some of this new guitar stuff they've got going on. Like acoustic guitar. Uh, oh jeez. Oh my gosh, I don't know how this is going to work out. <gasps> oh, give me the book. Oh, give me the fairy sprites. <laughs> and apparently I need to- oh yes, okay. Okay. I need to gather stuff. So, the forbidden attend the embassy, you a whole monsters. To explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. Oh, that's right. We have so just maybe a back of so sky. many things. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regal's machine writers. That'll have to push There's through. There's so much to do. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth. Freaking the freaking. We have to go talk. Well, maybe we don't have to, but I do want to go talk to the thing now. The woman who led the ambush, Regala. The Tanakh guy. The machines are There's only one other person. Yeah, okay, we've already discussed this. 
Silence. But what's his angle? Why help to knock the rebels? Anyway, I should probably... I don't know if this episode's gonna be really long or two really short ones, but here we are. Maybe I'll just do this off camera. But uh, packs full, but my stash has Well, been... and how does that freaking work with the stash thing? Cause like in the in the middle of the fight at one point it was like you don't have any maybe I ran I don't I had like seventy. Oh maybe I didn't maybe I used them all. Holy cow, did I use them all? Oh my gosh. I think this is what they were throwing out earlier. Was supply caches. I did loot most everything, but I think they want me to... No, they want me to try flying. Please just... Um, if I could remember how. Ooh, it okay. Oh, okay. I guess I can leap off just about any cliff now. I certainly hope so. I hope there's not like a, a time limit for this to go off, but we'll see. Now I just gotta friggin' figure out what I wanna do. There's so much to do. And oh, I did wanna go. I think I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna hope that in this little town behind me, glass base, that there is. A workbench, I guess, since I do want to modify my my crafting capability. Or an interesting color for my own. That's right. Um, I do want to modify my capacities. Slicing shredder gauntlet uses tear ammo to slice enemies. A leap lasher. I've never even seen that. I think I own all of this stuff, so it's not going to let me buy it again, which is fine. A pleasure trading workbench, with a true work, machine hunter. Workbench, workbench. Again, none of this seems terribly expensive, so maybe I will, because it's it's a it's a problem. I need. I need more. I need more help. <laughs> oh man. I am potentially doing things I should not. Yeah. Whew. That was an expensive trip. Is there, there's gotta be dynamic weather again. There was before in the previous game. Let's look at all the, oh, I have skills too. Oh boy, let's do this one. <laughs> Ooh, yes, please. Resist more damage, that sounds good. Bouncing bomb. I don't know if I want to be able to do that. All potions are faster to consume. Yes, please. Carry more medicine. Yes. Gain valor when I'm hit. How convenient. Alright, I'm gonna be a survivor, hunter, infiltrator. <laughs> Honestly, all of them, a lot of these seem really good, but I'm just still going to be really upset about the <laughs> fact that humans can apparently jump over my stuff. The sage is, we're calling him a sage now. I mean, I guess he kind of is, but... Wait, oh wait, hang on. I want to look at those. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can do search north of Barren Light for the rebel camp. Okay. 
God, I can't believe those are still a problem. We still have, we have the gun. Oh, they're bandits now. Cool. Um. I could have sworn I would have more. I mean, we have the, we have this for silence, and we have this sort of continuing on that, plus the eclipse. But I was like, there's the, I guess it's the rebel camp. This is to the north, potentially, which is what they were saying. They're like, oh, watch out to the north, you know? Yeah. There's the tall neck, but also we are kind of looking for that king guy. The tan tan tana tala why can't I say it? Let's go. Also This is one of those Is that a storm or is that a machine? Oh, it's probably the really big bad storm. That you see in the promotional material. I wasn't sure if this would have any significance. Oh. The blight is here too. I mean, of course it is, but it's maybe a little more prevalent than, than we thought. Oh, jeez. Oh, it gets like all up in the water. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, salvage guys, don't be dicks. Are they. I was like, are they really just chilling up in here? Is that like an old. E Oh, it's right there. I thought it would be darker. <laughs> this must be the salvagers I met in Baramite. Looks like something's going on. Like rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Groove, come on! You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? He's in the ground. If it isn't the savior of Meridian, and of my very own operation. Laren, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Oh, nasty business. What the Tanakh did back at the end. Hello, but everyone nice in to Baron meet you. Is thankful you drove them off. So this is your salvage operation. You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible... I wouldn't believe you. ...that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again. I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> And that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chain Scrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? <laughs> the armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. 
So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? I... Uh, what would I be looking How does... Me? What? <laughs> Shell walker containers. Their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the contract. He's 12. He's 12 I'll years old. Give this a closer look later. Thanks. I shouldn't just pick up a contract without Come reading on, it. You, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so this was definitely some sort of like military. I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. Uh, we. This was like a military embankment. Hmm? Find other salvage camps? Okay. Ooh, I get an Ostrom Artificer pay? I don't know. Oops. Go to the passage designated in the contract. Where's. Is it here? Uh, <laughs> just tell me. Shipping manifest. Like, have it pop up for me. Salvage contract. Written <laughs> a standard standard Ostrom salvage contract written recently and in haste. Uh, here I engage as recipient. One shell walker. Any other salvage can be gathered as payment. A campsite and traps have been provided at the marked passage. Mm hmm. Temporary or permanent. But please don't die. I really need those parts. I got you. I got you, guy. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. What I really want to do yeah, is find. What? A sky drifter. I should probably do this. Um, I really want to find the king guy. Those are- what? Oh. I was like, that's way shorter than I thought it was. That's- at least it's on the way. The eclipse hideout. This area is so big. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Alright, definitely. Definitely going to the tall neck first. I am intrigued by the idea of the armor. I really like collecting armor and using it. I'm so sorry. I, re I really feel like a monster, especially when I'm killing the foxes. I really like foxes, so I'm just really unhappy about it. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. What? What? Who's, who's angry? The old ones. What's going on? I gave everything I had to slow down the pharaohs. They work. did indeed. Oh. Um. Ow! Ooh, nice. I'm trying to hit the okay. Okay. Now I have to fight mounted mounted enemies. What a treat. Oh my gosh, somebody died on the Oh my goodness. 
If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working No Man's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know? After that embassy of theirs. Mm -hmm. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! Yeah. If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Also, it's too close. Get through stuff. So we ended up making camp Everything here. is too close to the boundary. Tomorrow, we head straight to Baron Light. Like, it probably sent a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this. Like, it would have been picked clean already. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. And that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. <laughs> what am I like? Oh, that's a, a lightning bolt? Of of goodness? Of I I don't just always appear at the exact right time. An old world ruin. I wonder what's uh, inside. I'm not doing that again. Not right now, anyway. Ain't about that, but this looks like this is a serious place where, like, they were. They really had to hold back the horde here, or were trying, you know? They obviously. Yeah. In the end, weren't able to survive, but. <laughs> but they did. Oh, look at this. They did buy time. They're so cute. Look at them. I got distracted, I think. I'm going the I was going the wrong way, but this is this reminds me of the area outside um What the Ooh. This reminds me of the area outside the castle in Breath of the Wild. I don't have any ice. Don't have to worry about its tail if I shoot it off. Yeah, well. I don't have any electricity either. Those things are sick. They look cool. That's not working. <laughs> this is not gonna go well for me. <laughs> I was distracted by the what do you call it? The red, the blight stuff. Oh my goodness! I was like, oh, I gotta get out of that. Just got blasted. Looks like a satellite dish. Fucking satellite dish. Should be able to reach that tall neck easily. Enough. That's the word. Oh no. One hit with a shock arrow should trigger a chain. I don't I don't have any. I, I don't even have that capability at all. I didn't realize there was a machine in here. I just don't do a lot of damage. I also just don't have a lot of. I don't, I don't have a lot of capacity either. And I, I miss. Okay, I need to look up where to get shock and ice weapons, cause, cause this is killing me. It's just killing me. I mean, I have. Yeah, I've got that. Oh, well, the thing is, is the blast thing's not that great. Uh, sure. But I don't think I have... Oh yeah, the spiker. I should try that out. And I have the shock trip caster, but I don't have any projectile. Up 
<laughs> what? How? Oh, it scanned me. Oh, jeez. So this spear is pretty dope. I just don't want to get squished by the doll neck. Legit, really liking the spear thrower. This is the one that I that reminds me of an Adolado. Yeah, we'll I'll take this. Okay, god dang. Any more? Oh wait. This is weird to me. How sometimes my melees miss even though the thing is right in front of me. Ooh, nice. Let's see. I uh, once again I'll just kind of pause this hopefully. If I remember. Of the abandoned Odyssey spacecraft as it follows its orbital path above the Western Grand Array. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to contact the Odyssey. Um, to be fair, I kind of, we kind of thought that that was, it was hinted at, like, the Odyssey, the Far Zenith, and all of them, like, they came up early on, right? So it makes it seem like we're going to interact with it somehow maybe or or at least figure out more about it but look at this you could watch it fly by here i wonder if i could watch it even now it wants a battery but i don't know i don't know how to do that stuff on fire. Oh, probably because of the birds. Can't climb any higher, but looks like this thing can rotate. Worth it. The tourists loved it. Oh, that's cool. Should have their PhDs revoked. Oh my gosh, a very good place to start. <laughs> I can figure out a way to turn it. Things around and find a way up. Um, what? I, I have to do that? But I don't know how. A plasma cell. Okay, is that is that something I could use, or is that something that I that I can just blow up with? Oh, I forgot. I can jump off with my glider. Like, do I have to, like, acquire a battery from elsewhere? Like, I'm, I'm confused. Okay. Is that the battery? I looked it up, by the way. <laughs> I kind of. It's not super specific, but it says that the battery is... Here somewhere. So I'm uh, gonna look around, I guess. Well, okay, here we go. Well, it's good to know that they're in this area. The power cell. Disconnected from the main power. Go, go over there. 
Oh my gosh, you maniac! This is a pain. Just getting on the tall neck usually is a pain enough, but having to powers back. I should check that console. Having to do all this just to get to the tall neck. It's a pain in the butt. I don't know if we should be moving this. I think it would just fall apart, honestly. <laughs> okay, that's what's supposed to happen, I think. It will be stuck in such a way that I can use it, hopefully. It's gonna collapse. This ancient piece of technology, and I'm just gonna break it. Oh, I did that. Didn't see anything. There we go. Time to override the big Over guy. there? On old satellite dishes? I mean that must be. It's very farm looking. Oh no. We're glitched out. We're definitely in the wrong spot. <laughs> We did it. <laughs> it was a lot of work, but we did it. My first tall neck. Oh no, wait. No. Is it my first tall neck in this series? I don't know. Yeah, okay, it was. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, achievements. <laughs> I appreciate it. Show me the map. Yes. Plain song. Oh. Did they really? Build them on top of like collapsed satellite dishes. That's amazing. There's so much out here. I definitely think one of her biggest priorities would be going to get Simons and figuring things out. But look at all these. Look at all these things. Oh, is that a thunder jaw? <gasps> Wide mall. A leap leisure lasher? I need one of those. Slip slash and slasher. <laughs> anyway, I have no idea how long this episode's gone, so I'm gonna call it here. <laughs>